All right, boys, welcome back to another episode of Lone Wolf Lifestyle. Anyways, today's episode, we're driving up to the uh, White Mountains in New Hampshire to go see that uh, fishing spot again at uh, Hale Mountain. So I'm pretty excited about this one. Gear's all ready, bags are packed, and uh, this is going to be a two-day camping trip up in the White Mountains. We're just going to have a good time, enjoy the outdoors, and do some fishing. So, just got done with a early meeting. Yeah, now we're hitting the road. So, I'm excited about this one, boys. Stay tuned, stick with it, stay tuned, and uh, we'll catch you when, where, I don't know, probably in New Hampshire. So, let's go. We're at a uh, Bass Pro Shop in uh, Hookset, New Hampshire. So, filming the uh, truck cap. We're getting ready to go up to the White Mountains. So, everything's pretty set in my uh, sleeping rig, so it's going pretty good, but I'm basically right now just gearing up to go inside. There's a couple of things that I need. I need some fly fishing stuff, for one. I need a jet boil, something to cook water, or get boiling water. I kind of want a stove top, so I'm not sure if they're gonna have it, but that's kind of what I'm looking for anyways, is that type of stuff. Um, so flies, jet boil, and any type of accessories that I can throw in the back here just to kind of make my camping trip just a little bit easier. So, I don't know, we're loaded up right now though and uh, it should be pretty good. So, let's go boys. All right boys, here we go. Just throwing all the gear in there. We'll figure it out when we get to the uh, White Mountains. So, it's a mess, but once I park the truck and get the campsite all set up, it should be pretty good. So, I'm gonna close down the truck cap, lock it up. Uh, we're hitting the road boys. Let's go Look at this boys. This is unbelievable I think the basins on our right, but this is fucking pretty damn cool to be driving through here and kind of seeing this I'm kind of hoping that Colorado looks something like this But yeah, I don't know just cruising up here on the back roads and uh I guess not back roads, but main roads. Put the windows down, dude. Let's go. It's pretty damn sweet. That's for damn sure. I mean, just look at that, dude. Look at those freaking rocks, bro. Look at those rocks, bro. Freaking rocks. They're so cool. But yeah, we're just driving through here, boys, and uh, it's pretty damn cool. Uh, I've been up through this area before going out hiking and stuff like that But it just kind of puts it into perspective man, you know, just hitting an AA meeting in the morning and, and coming up here And doing a two-day camping trip little expedition basically Getting everything dialed in for Colorado. So I'm stoked about it, man It does not get any better than this it really doesn't man Windows down cruising the only reason I have it, have it up right now is because the audio I want the audio to be good But yeah cruising through the uh, White Mountains. All right, boys, we're not far out from the uh, fishing spot, so got uh, probably maybe, I wanna say 25 minutes or so until we get there, and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's open for possibilities at this point. I'm not sure what's gonna go on. Uh, I'm gonna try to find a campsite, but the main thing right now, it's, it's almost 12 o'clock. I wanna go fishing biggest thing is I want to go try to catch some fish so I want to fish that left side of the river that I talked about in the last video there and this will kind of cover that area so I'm, I'm gonna be done with that area after this you know what I mean it's uh, I can go back and fish it again but I want to go check out some other spots in the White Mountains with some other fish in it some other rivers you know see if I can figure it all out but yeah I just want to be able to do that for right now and uh, so I'm gearing up, we're gonna go fish that left side of the river. There's probably a couple of good miles there that I can hike and up and down that riverbed and see if we can catch any fish. So we'll see if we can hit them at 12 and if we don't hit them at 12, we'll take a nap in the truck and uh, we'll set up for hitting them around nighttime, around five or six o'clock. So that's the plan. Stick with it, stay tuned boys. Way Mountain National Forest. Love those ones that say only you can prevent forest fires. Something about that. I like those signs. Pretty cool. Protect and enjoy your national forest. 
It's yours. That's what I like about it. It's yours. It's not mine. It's yours. I'm just using it for the day. Or the next two days I'm going to be around this area. For right now, I'm focusing on the 12 o'clock fish bite. So hopefully the uh, fish will be biting around 12 o'clock. Hopefully they're just, you know, ready for lunchtime or something. And uh, hopefully I can catch on to one. But I always kind of set my expectations low with these trips, boys. Even though I probably shouldn't set them as low as I do. But it always makes that gratification of when things do come together that it's like, wow, that's a total blessing right there, you know? And it's like when I came up here last time and caught those two fish, it's, you know, it's one of those moments where it's like, wow, everything came together, you know? This is the spot that I fished last time. It looks like the water's a bit higher. So I don't know, I'm not sure if we're gonna go down there and fish it again. I wanna fish that spot downriver though, so I'm gonna. As you guys see, the roads are pretty rough around here, but I'm gonna fish that spot down river, so I'm gonna go up here and turn around. All right, boys, so this is something pretty cool that uh, people up here in the north do. They put out these little stations where you can grab uh, firewood. It's based on the honor system, so I just put 15 bucks in here. It's five bucks for each, uh, each thing, so grabbing three of these, and uh, yeah, we should be good to go. Actually, I'm going to grab this one. It looks less buggy. Looks like better wood. But yeah, they do this here. They just stack up the wood. and uh, So there's three bundles. Gave them 15 bucks. It's all based on the honor system, which is pretty cool. Keeps people honest. and uh, I'm in a program of honesty, being, a, being an addict. So, being a drug addict. You know? Especially being in AA and NA and stuff like that. But yeah, as you guys can see, trucks loaded up. We've got three things here, five bucks a piece, which ain't bad. Saved me a drive, which is awesome. Looks like the guy cuts the cuts his own wood there, which is pretty cool to see. So not sure if you guys will ever see this video, but thank you. The money's in the box, so we're gonna hit the road. Let's go boys. Here we are, loaded up.